Just my children and my wife. I'd thank our God above to be living here today. Cause the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away. And I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget And I'll gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the U.S. I was very, very fortunate. During my Army service, I was never injured. I was never shot in anger, at it in anger, and I met some good, sincere people. With the GI Bill, I obtained a college degree, was able to attend art school, became a productive member of society, and been able to play an active role in my community. I'm thankful for the many good things that have happened to me. I've tried to give you a little insight into the life and experience of an ordinary soldier who served his country as he was needed. Not a hero, no combat, no chest full of medals, just a plain G.I. Joe from Alliance, Ohio. I'm here to honor those who gave their lives in all the wars and that have, and have, and have suffered injuries that will affect them for all the rest of their lives. To do that, I want to honor Marine Corporal Aaron Faust as an example of those young men and women who have served their country and given their lives to, def to defend it. As you may recall, Aaron was a nephew of Sue Ryan. He was killed in Afghanistan in April, just a few short weeks ago. And he would have been 23 this past Saturday on May the 26th. I will use Sue's words to describe Aaron. He was bright, talented young man who loved God 
family and country above all else. We will miss the happy, playful little boy who grew up to be, a brave, to be brave beyond his years. The meaning of this Memorial Day observance has become deeper and more profound. Pain, sadness, and loss are mingled with pride and gratitude for a life well lived and bravely lost. The enjoyment of this day with parades, picnics, and family gatherings should not be diminished. We doubt if those who we are honoring would want or expect that. However, it is important that we take the time to remember not only Aaron, but all of the brave men and women who unselfishly gave the ultimate gift so that we could live in freedom. Thank you and God bless you all.